Welcome back. Well, as you know, it is our tradition to cover the big United Nations Global Warming Conferences. They are full of jargon. They call them COP or Conference of the Parties. They're at COP26. That means this is the 26th time these bureaucrats, politicians, lawyers, and lobbyists have had an annual reunion. Five star all the way. Private jets stacked up at Glasgow's airport. Uh, huge entourages. Joe Biden arriving in, what, a 50-car caravan. But you, of course, have to reduce your carbon footprint. I also noticed that they weren't checking if people were vaxxed. You have to check if you're vaxxed before you're allowed to have access to restaurants or in Canada now. You can't even get on a plane if you don't meet the vax test. Not so these special people, because that's the thing. They're special and you're not. Well, we've sent Sheila Gunn-Reed to five of these conferences, but this year we're delighted to have boots on the ground in the United Kingdom. Our new reporter there, Lewis Brackpool, has made the journey up to Glasgow, and he joins me now on the streets of that ancient city. Lewis, how you doing over there? Hey, man, yeah, all good. It's a little bit windy, but yeah, it's all good. <laughs> well, I mean, you're there in Glasgow. We had to find, all the hotels were taken, other than, you know, $4,000 a night presidential suites. We found you an economy class Airbnb, and you went up there on a low-cost easy jet. Thanks for doing that mission for us. Um, you're going economy class, but are you getting a feel for some of the five-star luxury of the global uh, warming elite? Yeah, I mean, it's quite funny, isn't it? I flew in with EasyJet, they flew private. So it just shows the, uh, the lack of integrity and the, uh, just the hypocrisy from these elites coming here and telling us plebs what to do. <laughs> we've we've been speaking to a lot of people on the ground about that. All the demonstrations have been about people um, pointing out the hypocrisies from other world leaders. But when you speak to actual climate uh, activists, they seem to be siding with them, uh, which is really, really quite something. Well, I mean, I understand pointing out the hypocrisy of Prince Charles or Boris Johnson or Jeffrey Bezos who flew in. Um, but if there are climate activists like Greta Thunberg, they came to Glasgow, they didn't walk, they didn't paddle on a kayak or a canoe. So, um, I mean, I, I feel fine criticizing these global warming activists because I don't believe that the world's about to end. I don't believe carbon dioxide is evil. And I believe that the earth has warmed and cooled naturally over the millennia. I've heard of the ice ages, and I know that that happened before the automobile was invented. So the, the cooling and the warming. So when I call out Prince Charles, Jeffrey Be Bezos, Justin Trudeau for hypocrisy, I'm not saying that I'm living a lower carbon lifestyle. I don't believe in that. But every leftist activist, every journalist activist there, they're in on it too, because they all flew in, and, and they're all using you know, petrochemicals like plastics. I think it's just probably the largest walking uh, example of hypocrisy ever known to man. I completely agree. Um, and the question that I've been asking people on the streets is, couldn't this have been done over Zoom for over two weeks? I mean, you care so much about the carbon footprint and CO2 emissions. I mean, it could have saved quite a lot if you cared about it that much. But these world leaders just to stay at home like we've been doing for two years. Why couldn't they, they have done that? But it seems to me like their, their idea um, of these world leaders coming together and speaking about it is some sort of tremendous act of goodwill, which I don't see personally. I just see it as, you know, you, you practice what you preach. And, and that's what I've been saying, but these elites can't seem to be do, doing that. So, yeah. <laughs> well, you've sent a couple of clips and I haven't seen these yet. So I'd just like to play a clip uh, that you recorded there in Glasgow on the ground for the UN Global Warming Summit. Let's take a look. So could you tell us a little bit about this poster and uh, what it represents and uh, why, why, what it is? It's, it's just sort of criticizing Boris Johnson really, because this is sort of what he thinks of himself, you know, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Right. But like really we'd be lucky if he did anything at all. Okay. 
He's been criticising a lot of countries for having high CO2 emissions, but we've not really been doing anything ourselves, so right, okay. it's just so. Sort of, Do you know yeah. which countries he's been criticising? Yeah. yeah, he's been having a go at China, but China basically produces everything. We've actually, we imported a lot of our stuff from China, getting it from China, yeah. so it does make sense. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so China, I believe, is, is 30% CO2 emitters yeah. of the entire world, so... Do you think that that would be okay to sort of criticise because they're the biggest contributors? Well, it's sort of like making fun of someone for falling into a ditch when you're like halfway sunk in sand, really. Like, right, okay. we're both terrible and there's not really any excusing it, so... So, because I, be, I believe the UK is 1.1% uh, uh, CO2 emitters, so compared to 30%. Um, and you've got obviously Russia as well that are about fourth... Um, India as well, who are, who are rejecting the net zero uh, policy as well. I mean, what do, you, what do you think of those guys not turning up as well? I mean, it's not really ideal, but you would expect Russia to be fourth because it's, you know, massive. Uh, they can do better. We can all do better. So there's really no point in having a go at other people when we've all got to improve. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you very much. Cheers. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.